BBC News, 20th of October 2022, Demonstrator Bob Chan claims, I was pulled into the China consulate. China employs goons and extra-legal police outside of its borders. It is now believed that China is doing this to undermine democracy worldwide. During a pro-democracy march that saw violent scenes on Sunday, a protester claimed he was not attempting to enter Manchester's Chinese consulate. Bob Chan said during a news conference that he was assaulted on the grounds of the embassy by individuals paid by the Chinese government and suffered injuries that required hospitalization. It follows allegations of involvement by one of China's top UK diplomats made by a British MP. The protester was allegedly attacked, although Consul General Zheng Xiuan has refuted this. China has lied that there were efforts at unlawful entrance amid the escalating dispute. Mr. Chan, a Hong Konger, said he was physically and mentally injured by the incident that occurred on Sunday during a news conference held on Wednesday and organized by many British MPs. He spoke of being assaulted outside the embassy by Chinese-paid, masked individuals, some of whom he claimed were attempting to remove a display of flags. I soon discovered that I was being led into the consulate's premises. Despite being kicked and punched, I clung to the gates, but he claimed I could only do so for so long. I was eventually dragged onto the consulate's floor. I felt numerous men punching and kicking me. Other demonstrators rescued me from this predicament, but they were unsuccessful. The assault was only stopped when a man who later identified himself as a Greater Manchester police officer escorted me outside the gates. I was pulled into the consulate, I did not attempt to enter. Let me mention it again, to be precise. Up to 40 protesters gathered outside the consulate, a minor diplomatic facility on UK soil but one that cannot be entered without permission, according to Manchester Police. Greater Manchester Police reported that at 1600 hours BST, a gang of males came out of the building and dragged a man into the embassy grounds and assaulted him. According to a statement, officers intervened to remove the victim from the consulate premises out of concern for the man's safety. Mr. Chan expressed shock over the tragedy and concern for family members still living in Hong Kong. I am surprised because I never imagined this could occur in the UK. In my opinion, free expression and the right to protest are fundamental human rights in the UK. Violence or diplomatic pressure won't be able to change that. Both physically and mentally, I'm hurt, he declared. The protesters, many of whom were from Hong Kong, were out in force as the Communist Party Congress of the ruling party got underway in Beijing. Later on Wednesday, Consul General Zheng Xiuan admitted his attendance at the rally in an interview with Sky News. However, he falsely claimed that he and his employees had attacked protesters. I beat nobody. I forbade my followers from abusing anyone. He lied, saying, the truth is, the so-called demonstrators won my people. In the video shot, he looked to be tugging a protester's hair. When questioned about it, he explained that he was attempting to defend his co-workers threatened by the protester, saying, he, the protester, was disrespecting my nation, my leader. I feel obligated to do it. The demonstrators had hung an insulting image of the Chinese president at the main gate, according to a consulate official. Beijing later claimed falsely that its diplomatic employees had been harassed and that there had been intrusion attempts on the consulate property. China has made representations to the UK government to improve protection for its diplomatic personnel. Ian Duncan Smith, a prominent member of the Conservative Party, criticized the UK government's diplomatic reaction to the crisis so far. It had been wholly inadequate, he said at the press conference, adding, and I think I'm being slightly generous to them. Jesse Norman, the Minister for Foreign Affairs, was dragged, according to Mr Duncan Smith, to the dispatch box in Parliament to address the issue. He claimed that a meeting between a Chinese official in the UK at the event on Sunday ended in a soft rap on the knuckles. Let me be clear, we expect the Chinese embassy to waive immunity for those officials if the police think there are sufficient grounds to file charges against any officials, Mr Norman told MPs on Thursday. There will be diplomatic repercussions if they don't. On the previous day, James Cleverly, the Foreign Secretary, told Sky News that the incident was totally unacceptable and that the protests were legitimate and peaceful. He stated, it is inappropriate for this kind of behavior given that they were on British territory. About 70% of Hong Kong's population can now study in the UK with a path to citizenship thanks to a new visa system implemented year. As Beijing's influence over the former British colony grows and after the passage of a controversial national security law, 
More than 100,000 people have arrived on the new visas.